continuing our discussion on nonlinear dynamics and chaos. So we'll discuss mainly nonlinear oscillations. So we'll linear, nonlinear differential equations. Right now we'll focus our attention on what we call as nonlinear oscillations. Okay, and then we'll look at the phase space trajectories for some of the nonlinear systems without solving. This is the equations to solve here then, and the phase space trajectories we can Okay, and then we'll talk about uh, we'll calculate the period of uh, nonlinear oscillations. Right in a particular case. First, we look at nonlinear oscillations and an approximate solution. And approximate solution is the formula. Nonlinear terms include J. Right? Already, we have to do nonlinear terms. Right? Here, we will include the nonlinear terms, okay? at least a few of them. And then we will see uh, the solution. We will have a look at the approximate solution. Right? Approximate solution can be used by methods. We will be looking at uh, one of them. Right. It will be of this form, right? Mx double dot plus omega zero square sin x equal to zero. Okay. I, I know that you are familiar already with this pendulum equation. So you have done it several times. Okay. The Lagrangian method of which simple pendulum equation already equation of motion already in the It will be of this form. Okay, but x in theta and it will be theta double dot plus omega zero square sin theta is equal to zero. Okay. Omega zero square no is G divided by L, where L is the length. Okay. So <coughs> we approximate sin x by x. Okay. Small uh, oscillations are we approximate sin x by x. Okay. And then we get the usual equation for a harmonic oscillator. Which uh, is sin x no nonlinear. Itala uh, term on uh, nonlinearity is where it is it goes like x, x cube by three factorial, x raised to five by five. I'm gonna terms within right up dependent variable, but a dependent variable not an x on dependent variable in the higher powers are the one there is a nonlinear equation. Okay, so normally linear term math of right is on the first term sin x and expansion the first term x on in the linear term method, that is the non-linear term we will include. You get a non-linear equation of this form, x double dot plus omega zero square x, all right? this is the first approximation, and then it's omega zero square by 6 x cube, sin x, we take instead of x, we take it as x minus x cube by 3 factorial, okay, so it's x cube by 6. Right. x cube by 6 is not done with omega 0 square by 6 in x cube. Right. This is equal to 0. All right. In this simple uh, approximate solution, we can do it again. So we can direct complete solution. Now let's try to find an approximate solution to this equation. All right. Now let's assume that in the solution sinusoidal is the same. We have extra term good add. We just added a higher order term. Okay. So we in the higher order term is the sinusoidal solution. Right, sin omega t and the right, the solution and the already area. Okay. Now, we extra term, higher order term would add that the solution sinusoid land and then assume right? we will start with that assumption. Right. And we will actually see that the frequency depends on the amplitude. Frequency amplitude will depend on the non-linear problems in the right. Pyrosperum right? the right? parameter change the parameter change the parameter. Right. So these things change. All right. All right, we'll see that. Okay, we can start with an approximate solution of uh, sin uh, sinusoidal solution, and then we'll see that the frequency actually depends on the amplitude. All right, that's typical of a nonlinear problem, a nonlinear oscillation, day, and a nonlinear differential equation to a typical uh, idle property. Another. Okay. So we try the solution x of t is equal to a sin omega t. Nonlinear term is in the solution a sin omega t. Right? But a nonlinear term we write, we try a solution of the same form, but now there is a small change. We say that this omega now depends on a. Omega is omega of a. Okay. But we can now what we do as we do usually is that we substitute this back into this equation. Right, x of t is equal to a sin omega t in the e equation like the substitute here. All right, so x double dot and x dot in this case is a omega cos omega t and x double dot is equal to minus a omega square sin omega t. Okay, in either way, we will substitute here. Right, so when you substitute this here, this equation becomes x double dot in the you will have minus a omega square sin omega t. 
moment sin omega t and plus omega 0 square x null of a sin omega t. Okay. Minus omega 0 square divided by 6. Minus omega 0 square divided by 6. X cube that is a cube sin cube omega t. Alright. In the number is sin cube x in a e formula. We have this trigonometric identity. Sin 3x is equal to 3 sin x minus 4 sin cube x. All right. I think I'm going to say sin cube x is equal to 3 sin x minus sin 3x divided by 4. Okay. Either we will substitute here. Okay. Sin cube a omega t in the line. 3 sin omega t minus sin 3 omega t divided by 4. All right. Then you substitute this here. And then you collect the terms. A sin omega t. Sin 3 omega t the terms. You will get an equation like this. Right? So, the, just substitute this sign, this uh, decomposition for sine cube x here. Sine cube x is the substitute here. And then you just rearrange to get this equation. All right? You can try that. Okay? So, we get this equation. Now, those, this does not look like it's 0. 0 is not the right? same. So, this is uh, a term a sine omega t plus. There is a plus here. The next term, right? If it is zero, right? E term zero, we have zero. 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 zero. We have zero. zero. We have 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 zero. We if it is zero, we have we don't have any uh, interesting solution, all right? But angani angi e term zero onam in the matra e term zero onam in the matra la e term, all right? E term negligible onam. That is, we are again talking about small amplitudes, all right? That is not so small that we can take only the first term, all right? But it's still small. A e term negligible onam in the dukku game. If the coefficient is zero onam the dukku onam dukku enjiy onam gil, we can make sure that this whole term is equal to zero, all right? So we make this. Demand that we neglect this term, right? So still we have some nonlinear part sitting in our equation, right? So we'll neglect this term. Either a cube and neglect is a square, right? A square is still there. Okay, a cube we have neglected, right? So when you make that thing and you put this omega zero square minus omega zero omega square minus omega zero square a square divided by eight equal to zero. Alright. So from here you see that omega square is equal to Omega 0 square minus or omega 0 square common at birth 1 minus a square divided by 8. Okay, there's this a square term. A square term could only neglect here and omega square will be equal to omega 0 square. Okay? But now we see that this omega now depends on a. Omega now depends on the amplitude as we promised, right? Or as we suggested in the beginning. Okay, for the nonlinear oscillations into typical. Now, either approximate solution at the nonlinear uh, mathematical pendulum into approximate solution at the Consider here, all right? So it's one step better than the uh, approximation sine x equal to x. Sine x equal to x in the line of column, we will higher term number include this. There's a term that depends on the uh, square of the amplitude, all right? When you look at the angular frequency, okay. all right? In either the number a, so if you take a is again small, right? You can make a binomial expansion here. Because what we had was omega square and get it. Omega square is equal to equation omega square is equal to omega zero square into one minus a square divided by eight and then, right? So if you take square root on both sides, omega is equal to omega zero, one minus a square divided by eight whole raised to one by two. Okay. Now assuming again that this is small, we don't take terms higher than a square. A square in a color higher terms of the You can make a binomial expansion. This becomes omega 0, 1 uh, minus a square divided by 16 and then the higher order terms. All right. So that's why we write if the small for sm because of the smallness of a, this we can write again as omega is equal to omega 0 into 1 minus a square divided by 16. Okay. Now this is a good approximation, right? It's fine. In some situations, this is fine. If the amplitude is not too high, this solution is fine. All right. But you just improve this solution by adding even higher order terms. All right. higher order terms, sin x in 
സൈനെക്സിന്റെ ഹയർ ഓർഡർ ടേംസ് നമുക്ക് കൂടുതൽ ആഡ് ചെയ്യുന്നതിലൂടെ ഇതിന്റെ മെച്ചപ്പെട്ട സൊല്യൂഷൻസ് കണ്ടുപിടിക്കാൻ കഴിയും റൈറ്റ് സോ ദിസ് ഇസ് വൺ വേ ടു ഫൈൻഡ് എൻ അപ്രോക്സിമേറ്റ് സൊല്യൂഷൻ ടു എ നോൺ ലീനിയർ ഓസിലേഷൻ പ്രോബ്ലം ഓക്കെ ദർ ആർ ഡിഫറെന്റ് മെത്തേഡ്സ് റൈറ്റ് പെർട്ടബേഷൻ മെത്തേഡ്സ് ഇങ്ങനെ പല മെത്തേഡ്സ് ഉണ്ട് യു വോണ്ട് ബി ലുക്കിംഗ് ഇറ്റ് ഓൾ ഓഫ് ദം സോ വി ജസ്റ്റ് ഗെറ്റ് ഐഡിയ ഓഫ് ഹൗ ദിസ് അപ്രോക്സിമേറ്റ് സൊല്യൂഷൻസ് ആർ ഫൗണ്ട് ഓക്കെ right now let's see how we can get an exact solution for a non linear oscillator a non linear oscillator problem then a exact solution enganeyana kittu nokka okay specifically nammal uddeshikkunnathu phase space trajectory right phase space trajectory obey the equation exact equation derive yana nammal nokkunnathu right so once we have the exact equation obeyed by the phase space trajectory we can just plot it okay namukku vendathu y of x ennalla y as a function of x ennalla reethiyulla oru equation aanu once we have this we can plot the phase space trajectories and then understand about the system from the behavior of the trajectories all right so look generally at the non linear oscillator in a formula is x double dot plus f of x equal to 0 all right appo ee case il nammal thottu munbu kanda case il nammade f of x inde sthanam namukku undayirunnathu omega 0 square sin x aayirunnu omega 0 square sin x aayirunnu right but generally it could be some function of f of x okay ini idu oru oscillator problem if you want to look, if you want it to if you want it to look like an oscillator problem this f of x can be written as k of x multiplied by x a k of x into x nammal ezhudanengil this looks like your uh, simple harmonic uh, oscillator simple harmonic oscillator inde force nareyna f equal to minus kx aanu appo ind equation of motion nammal ezhudanengil x double dot plus kx equal to 0 nu all right but non linear oscillator aumbol this k can be a way k can vary all right k can vary all right so this is a simple way to model a non linear oscillator instead of k being a constant you will have a k depending on x all right so this you can think of it as an oscillator with a variable spring constant you can think of it as an equation with a variable spring constant all right we have a sin x in the expansion in the x part to take the rest of the part we can k of x in the way to take it okay now anyway let's look at this equation and try to find a general solution to this ഇപ്പൊ ഇവിടെ വീണ്ടും നമ്മൾ എഴുതാണ് എക്സ് ഡോട്ട് ഈക്വൽ ടു വൈ റൈറ്റ് യു പുട്ട് എക്സ് ഡോട്ട് ഈക്വൽ ടു വൈ ആൻഡ് ദെൻ എക്സ് ഡബിൾ ഡോട്ട് ഇസ് വൈ ഡോട്ട് സോ യു ഗെറ്റ് വൈ ഡോട്ട് ഈക്വൽ ടു മൈനസ് എഫ് ഓഫ് എക്സ് റൈറ്റ് സോ അവർ സിസ്റ്റം ഓഫ് ഇക്വേഷൻസ് ഇസ് നൗ എക്സ് ഡോട്ട് ഈക്വൽ ടു വൈ ആൻഡ് വൈ ഡോട്ട് ഇസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു മൈനസ് എഫ് ഓഫ് എക്സ് അപ്പൊ ഇതിൽ നിന്ന് ഇത് ഇത് ഡി എക്സ് ബൈ ഡി ടി ആണ് എക്സ് ഡോട്ട് ഇസ് ആക്ച്വലി ഡി എക്സ് ബൈ ഡി ടി ഓക്കെ ആൻഡ് വൈ ഡോട്ട് ഇസ് ഡി വൈ ബൈ ഡി ടി ഓക്കെ വി ക്യാൻ എലിമിനേറ്റ് ദിസ് ടൈം പാർട്ട് ബൈ ടേക്കിംഗ് ദ by dividing it right? we can divide this del dt out and you, you get dy by dx all right you get dy by dx is equal to minus f of x divided by y all right app idu nammude you get so you can integrate this to get y as a function of x okay that's what we are trying to do we can integrate this to get y as a function of x all right okay but here your your equation in then we can we can understand a little bit all right phase space trajectory is in the ഫോം ഫേസ് പേസ് പ്രൊജക്ടറീസ് എങ്ങനെ പ്ലോട്ട് ചെയ്യണം ഗ്രാഫിക്കലി എങ്ങനെ പ്ലോട്ട് ചെയ്യണം എന്നുള്ളതിനെ കുറിച്ച് നമുക്ക് കുറച്ച് ഐഡിയാസ് കിട്ടും റൈറ്റ് ഉദാഹരണത്തിന് എഫ് ഓഫ് എക്സ് ഈക്വൽ ടു സീറോ ഓക്കെ വൈ നോട്ട് ഈക്വൽ ടു സീറോ ആൻഡ് എഫ് ഓഫ് എക്സ് ഈക്വൽ ടു സീറോ അങ്ങനെയുള്ള പോയിന്റ്സ് എടുക്കുകയാണ് വരുന്നത് റൈറ്റ് എഫ് ഓഫ് എക്സ് ഇസ് സീറോ ആൻഡ് വൈ ഇസ് നോട്ട് ഈക്വൽ ടു സീറോ അങ്ങനെയാണെങ്കിൽ വി ഹാവ് ഡി വൈ ബൈ ഡി എക്സ് ഇസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു സീറോ ഇൻ ദാറ്റ് കേസ് വി ഹാവ് ഗോട്ട് ഡി വൈ ബൈ ഡി എക്സ് ഇസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു സീറോ ഡി വൈ ബൈ ഡി എക്സ് ഈക്വൽ ടു സീറോ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ എന്താണ് എക്സ് സോറി വൈ ഡസ് നോട്ട് വേരി വിത്ത് എക്സ് റൈറ്റ് ഇറ്റ്സ് എ കോൺസ്റ്റന്റ് with respect to x y does not vary with respect to x appo ee er point il dy by dx equal to zero avana point il what you will have is you will have a line like this parallel to the x axis nammal xy plane ingena aanu edukkunnengil right you will have a line parallel to the x axis at the point where dy by dx equal to zero right appo ittaram kaaryangal observe cheyunnilude without actually solving right we can actually plot uh, phase space diagrams graphically we can actually plot them graphically without solving the equation completely right so this is how we'll do that adu vale vera point nammal nokkanengil x equal to zero annulla point il right x equal to zero alla sorry y equal to zero annulla point okay y equal to zero annulla point il phase space trajectory engena nu nokka y equal to zero nu parayna actually x axis aanu x axis inde equation aanu y equal to zero right this line this line corresponds to y equal to zero right appo adayathu x axis inde phase space trajectory x axis inde cross in the regions il idu engena nu nokka okay appo ivada nammal y equal to 0 edukkanengil it, it doesn't behave properly appo nammal ind inverse edukkanu we write dx by dy okay we can write x as a function of y or y as a function of x so nammal dx by dy edukkanu this is y divided by minus f of x 
right? In f of x is 0 and that. Suppose f of x is not equal to 0 and y is equal to 0. y is equal to 0 is the x-axis, okay? So, x-axis in a cross in the path, you see that dx by dy is equal to 0. dx by dy equal to 0 is the end of okay, From dx by dy equal to 0, it means that x does not vary with respect to y, right? When you change y, x does not change. So in this case, all right, x in a x-axis in a cross in the points, it will be perpendicular to the x-axis or parallel to y-axis. All right. Up it term carrying observe in the phase space diagram. Uh, actually graphically plotting without solving. All right. We can do even better by looking at the potential energy. All right, we'll come to that. Okay. Either this is like the force, all right. This is like the force acting on the system. But force uh, observe in the world, potential energy to terms learning, it's much easier, right? So we'll write down some detailed steps to draw the phase space diagram graphically right, given the potential energy okay all right so these are just some of the examples all right now the singular points of the integral curves are located at points where y is equal to 0 and f of x equal to 0 simultaneously f of x and y simultaneously simultaneously 0 on the points are in the singular points in the bar in the trajectory the singular points are like face a face portrait in the singular points now all right or integral curves into singular points now. All right. Okay. Now we now let's try to get an exact equation for the uh, for the trajectory. All right. Either y y as a function of x. Let's try to find y as a function of x. All right. I am going to integrate it. We need to integrate this. All right. Now the integrate n. There is an easy way to do this. There is a trick that we can use. All right. You might have already used this for work energy theorem. Work energy theorem participate in the trick of the right? We will do the same thing. We will do system of equations. Right? Or our differential equation. Right? Our differential equation was this. x double dot plus f of x is equal to 0. All right? So, this is the same y dot plus f of x equal to 0. All right? x double dot is y dot. Okay? Using our uh, Substitution, right? Now, the system of equation at the equation of y dot plus f of x equal to 0. Okay. In the chain, you multiply throughout by x dot. You multiply throughout dot throughout by x dot. Okay. X dot on the other side will multiply. You will have an x dot here. X dot is y. So, this becomes y y dot plus f of x x dot is equal to 0. All right. Now, you can integrate this. Okay. This is y y dot f of x x dot is equal to 0. We can integrate this, all right? Before integrating, we can make a further simplification, all right? You see that y y dot in the way another, this is actually a total derivative of half y square, okay? This you can write as d by dt of half y square. So really, because d by dt in the time derivative, you get 2 y y dot, and the half will cancel uh, that 2, and then you'll have y y dot, right? So you can check that here easily d by dt of half y square is equal to half 2y y dot. Okay, so you get y y dot. Okay, y y dot you can write d by dt of half y square. Okay, and this f of x x dot is simply f of x dx by dt. Okay, now you can integrate with respect to time. All right, time variable which I'm can integrate here. We can integrate with respect to time. With the first term integrate in the other one, all right, the integrate the you'll get you'll just get whatever is inside here because integration and differentiation are sort of inverse of each other, all right? With respect to time integrity, and get the first term when you integrate, you simply get half y square, right? Half y square. And then plus integral f of x dx dt. Okay, we're going to get dt. Okay, we are, you are integrating with respect to time, all right? So this becomes, the second term becomes, the second term, let me write it here. Second term becomes integral f of x dx by dt dt, which is nothing but f of x dx. All right, this is f of x dx. All right, dx by dt dt. Dx by dt dt can be written as dx. So this is integral f of x dx. Okay. So this becomes half y square plus integral f of x dx is equal to a constant. Right, so con right hand side is 0, and there will be a constant of integration here. Anyway, right hand side is 0, and so when you integrate this, you will get a constant. Right, a constant is okay. in So you can think of this constant as the constant of integration. All right, so, so there will be a constant anyway. I remember the right hand side is 0, and so when you integrate 0, basically you get a family of solutions. Right, integrate 0 and original. Isn't a derivative at the zero? Right? It could be zero or it could be any other constant. In general, there is a constant which is uh, fixed by the initial conditions, right? Which is fixed by the initial conditions. There will be constant number e. 
right ini the samshayam undengil ende derivative eduthu nokka d by dt eduthu nokkanengil you will get this equation right y dot plus f of x is equal to zero nu ettu kaaranam de by dt is constant ayathonde ne ende derivative zero so this works okay that's how we get half y square plus integral zero to x f of x dx is equal to e This is also kind of choosing the initial condition. We are integrating with respect to t. But t equal to 0. In the initial time, we are going to 0. At time, t equal to x. T equal to 0 in the position. That's why we have the limit integral 0 to x. Okay, in t equal to 0 in the position 0, you can always add a constant of integration and make it shift it to 0. Okay, all right, so we get this nice equation, half y square plus integral 0 to x, f of x dx is equal to e. All right, in e integral, we will look at half y square plus integral f of x dx is equal to e. All right, if you are looking at this integral, this is actually the total energy. This is actually the total energy of the system. And half y square nor in half x dot square. Right? So if you if you have a mass there, it's half m x dot square, half m x dot square nor in the kinetic energy. And we know that it's the kinetic energy. All right. So we are not worried about exactly the mass of the We are only interested in the qualitative behavior. So half y square is like the kinetic energy. Right? Or if you if you like, you can think of it as the kinetic energy per unit mass. In a million atom mass only divided into the quantity and then imagine here, right? Or you can think of it as a system with a unit mass. Okay, because we are interested in the qualitative behavior. Anyway, this is the kinetic energy. Now, if f is the force, all right, then integral f of x dx is nothing but the potential energy. Integral f of x dx is nothing but the potential energy. Okay, so you can think of integral f of x dx as the potential energy. Okay. Alright, now we have the f of x behavior in the phase space plot, the phase space diagram, the phase space trajectory. We have the simple idea of phase trajectory. The phase trajectory is the same thing. It's even easier to look at the potential energy curve, v of x, integral f of x dx equal to v of x. From the behavior of this potential energy curve, we can understand the qualitative behavior of the phase trajectory. So the steps will... I will include the steps, okay, V of X nulla is the thandu gajinjal, it is where we are going to be in the space trajectory. In the next video, I have already explained this video, so in this video, I have cut it in the next video, I will upload it in the next video. You can see the video of the space trajectory, you can see the space trajectory, you can see the next video, so I will upload it in the next video. Okay, that content is already there in the previous videos, but I will cut this particular section. Including V of X. Okay, V of X. Kitra anengi lengane ana phase space trajectory vai rikya. Inda lenda steps include in the video. I'll upload along with this. Okay. So please watch it if you haven't already watched it. If you have already watched and understood the previous videos, the first two videos in this playlist. Okay. In that case, it's fine. All right. You don't have to go through that again. It's the same thing. All right. Anyway, once we have the potential energy curve, we can plot the phase space trajectories. All right. Okay. That's why singular points are in integral curves in the singular points f of x x f of x equal to 0 and y equal to 0. All right. But f of x equal to 0 or dv by dx equal to 0. f of x is equal to 0 means dv by dx, the derivative, the gradient of the potential energy is equal to 0. All right. Now, this simply says that at f of x equal to 0. So, if you think of f of x as the force, the force is 0 on the summit. All right. Force is 0 on the summit. Equilibrium. Equilibrium corresponds to extremum for the potential energy. Potential energy is the extremum point. Equilibrium is the same thing. So this is basically the same thing over and over again. That's why we have f of x equal to 0. f of x equal to 0. This curve is y not equal to 0. f of x equal to 0. We saw that the integral curves will be parallel to the x-axis parallel to the x-axis, all right? But parallel to the x-axis, it means that the velocity do not, does not change. The velocity does not change, right? The force, I like to say, the velocity change in it, all right? So this also means that if f of x is equal to 0, that means that v of x is a constant, right? Because dv by dx is equal to 0, then v of x is a constant. That is the potential energy change in it. Potential energy change in it, that curve is not down in it, all right? Because the velocity does not change. 
ഓക്കെ സോ ഇത് നമുക്ക് വേറെ കാര്യം മനസ്സിലാക്കാം വി ഓഫ് എക്സ് ചേഞ്ച് ചെയ്യുന്നതനുസരിച്ച് കേവ് എങ്ങനെയാണ് ചേഞ്ച് ചെയ്യുന്ന പറയാം വി ഓഫ് എക്സ് ഇൻക്രീസ് ചെയ്യുകയാണെങ്കിൽ വി ഓഫ് എക്സ് കോൺസ്റ്റന്റ് ആണെങ്കിൽ കേവിന് മാറ്റമൊന്നുമില്ല വി ഓഫ് എക്സ് കോൺസ്റ്റന്റ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള റീജിയൻസിൽ കേവ് ഫ്ലാറ്റ് ആയിരിക്കും ഫേസ് ബേസ് പ്രൊജക്ട് ഫ്ലാറ്റ് ആയിരിക്കും വി ഓഫ് എക്സ് ഇൻക്രീസ് ചെയ്യുന്ന സമയത്താണെങ്കിൽ ദ വെലോസിറ്റി വിൽ ഡിക്രീസ് റൈറ്റ് വെൻ വി ഓഫ് എക്സ് ഇൻക്രീസസ് കാരണം എനർജി മൊത്തം ടോട്ടൽ എനർജിയിൽ പൊട്ടൻഷ്യൽ എനർജിയുടെ കോൺട്രിബ്യൂഷൻ കൂടുകയാണെങ്കിൽ കൈൻറ്റിക് എനർജി കുറയും സോ വെലോസിറ്റി വിൽ ഡിക്രീസ് അങ്ങനെയാണ് താഴേക്ക് ആയിരിക്കും ഇനി വി ഓഫ് എക്സ് ഇൻക്രീസ് ചെയ്യുകയാണെങ്കിലോ വി ഓഫ് എക്സ് ഇൻക്രീസ് ചെയ്യുന്ന റീജിയൻസിൽ വി ഓഫ് എക്സ് ഇൻക്രീസ് ചെയ്യുന്ന റീജിയൻസിലാണ് നമ്മൾ പറഞ്ഞത് വെലോസിറ്റി റൈറ്റ് ദ ഫേസ് സ്പേസ് പ്രൊജക്ട് താഴേക്ക് ആയിരിക്കും എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു അതിൽ വി ഓഫ് എക്സ് ഡിക്രീസ് ചെയ്യുന്ന റീജിയൻസ് ആണെങ്കിൽ ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ഗോ ആ റൈറ്റ് ബിക്കോസ് ദ വെലോസിറ്റി വിൽ ഇൻക്രീസ് റൈറ്റ് സോ ജസ്റ്റ് ബൈ ലുക്കിംഗ് അറ്റ് ദ പൊട്ടൻഷ്യൽ എനർജി ബേസിക്കലി വി ക്യാൻ അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് ദ ഹൗ ദ പ്ലോട്ട് വിൽ കം ഔട്ട് ഓക്കെ So for the detailed steps, again, watch the other videos. All right. Okay, all right. So now we see that the total energy, E is the total energy, which is a constant. Okay, total energy constant. And we have got a conservation of energy and all that. Okay, but conservative system is angle. System is energy constant. Non-conservative system is angle. System is energy constant. Because there will be some dissipation. All right, it may lose energy as heat energy or noise or whatever. All right, so if we are talking about conservative system, what we have here is basically the constant energy this is the energy equation all right in idil nin this actually once we get this all right once you do this you already have this y of x okay you can solve for y from here okay e is constant ana idin ee side like undra so you can get y as a function of x adha nammal ivide cheyirikkunnu all right so you see that half y square is equal to e minus integral f of x dx all right in integral f of x dx nalla ne you can write as v of x of course you can write as v of x because integral f of x dx by definition you can call it as v of x and f of x is divide, defined as the gradient okay or related to the gradient of the potential energy all right adond then e f of x dx nalla it defines the potential energy only up to a constant okay nammal parayund constant add cheyanulla freedom und because it's uh, defined in such a way that the derivative gives you the force right the derivative gives you the force all right anyway So that's why we say that v of x is defined by this equation only up to a constant all right you could add a constant you could shift the zero of the potential energy without changing the dynamics okay all right so half y square is e minus v of x so you see that y square is equal to 2 e minus v of x or y is equal to plus or minus 2 e minus v of x whole raised to 1 by 2 square root of this okay so y would be the y would be square root of this so y the possible values are the is in the square root and so now we got y as a function of x all right we have got y as a function of x now these are the equations for phase space trajectories all right these are the equations for phase space trajectories all right appo ivide nammal manasilakkuna karyam the energy equation right energy equation alleke energy conserved aanannulla statement right this is equal to constant nalladhu it actually defines all right this equation actually defines the trajectory for a one dimensional system okay for one dimensional system one dimensional system anengil and phase space two dimensional aayirikkum okay so in two dimensional plane il this equation actually gives okay the equation is of the form some function of x comma y is equal to constant all right so this is actually basically the definition for a surface so a space il surface inde definition aanu pudayarathina f of x comma y comma z is equal to constant in the body angle this would be a surface in the three dimensional space this would be a surface in the three dimensional space all right but the two dimensional space i don't the surface nor another line on all right you get with the two with the surface nor is actually a line and what is this line this is the trajectory this is the trajectory of the system okay we don't know what is the energy equation actually uh, defines the trajectory for a one dimensional system okay but the higher dimension systems in is possible all right appo namaku vera conditions um kodu venam but the one dimensional system edukkanengil conservation of energy nalla statement allengi energy conserved aanulla statement automatically uh, trajectory define cheyunnundu it automatically gives you a trajectory as we see from here right you get y as a function of x which is exactly what we need okay so this give the phase space trajectories okay so as an example here we have plotted Uh, that's phase space trajectories for the case f of x is equal to x into x plus a okay f of x is equal to x into x plus a appo in corresponding aayittu namukku inde potential energy curve kandupidikkam potential energy curve this is simply integral f of x dx right from 0 to x okay this would give you v of x idana potential energy curve so the potential energy curve would be something like this right now once we know the potential energy curve we can uh, 
uh, draw the phase space. We can sketch the phase space diagram graphically. Right? We can do that graphically. Again, I'm not repeating this. All right, the steps for plotting it graphically are included uh, in, the, in the next video. Okay, I'll include this video. That's why this particular problem. This is what I have done. In the space space trajectories, we discuss this particular potential, this particular potential energy curve in the system in the phase space diagram plot. All right. Now, that's what I have done. I have cut this video. I have added it. All right. If someone has not seen the first video, so that's the second video. So, I will include this again. Again, I repeat. If you don't, if you have already watched it, if you have understood it, then you don't have to watch the uh, extra videos that I am going to upload. Okay. All right. So I, here I am not spending time on this. Okay. Because it, I have done it elsewhere, and I hope you have already seen this. Okay. All right. Now let's move on to the trajectory of the equation for a mathematical pendulum. For a mathematical pendulum. Right. We need to pendulum in the case of the trajectory is plotted. And the potential energy curve was it plotted. And graphically plotted. Right. Adum, Yan is in the water cut the separate video at include. Right, other previous problem f of x is equal to x into x plus a in the case. Other way, simple pendulum in the case of the face space trajectory is graphically plotted. What the other video at an cut the other time, one bullet video in the cut the other time, you can check. All right, it's in the playlist, or I'll give you the link. Okay, a pivot number of another mathematical pendulum. Graphically, I will try to plot it. We will try to plot it using a program, a programming, uh, mathematical programming language which I am going to plot it. Because we know the equation, right? Once you know the potential, you can find y of x. Okay. Now, I will plot it here. Okay. The graphical plot you can see later on. The mathematical pendulum equation is x double dot plus omega 0 square sin x is equal to 0. Right? You will omega 0 square is g divided by l. Okay. In the equation of winter, we need them. x dot is y, y dot, y dot equal to minus omega 0 square sin x. Right? Please step select upon the number. I just want to say this is our f of x. This is our f of x. Alright? Even if we v of x, you can find v of x. And v of x, we can find v of x. And v of x, we can find v of x. And v of x, we can find v of x. Okay? Direct at the number. Okay? v of x is equal to the number. Plus or minus square root of 2 into e minus v of x. Okay. Because we have fixed it. Right? That's one way to do this. Right? We have to do detail that is is step here, no? detail that is. In the end, we'll be getting the same result. Okay. So you can do it in any way you like. We have to detail that here. Here we can write x dot is equal to y. So y dot is equal to minus omega zero square sin x. So this equation is equivalent to this set of equations. Okay, now we set is an equivalent at set at the end. In our dy by dx on under dy by dx is equal to minus omega zero square sin x divided by y. All right, you just divide these things. Okay. So from here is that y dy is equal to minus omega zero square sin x dx. Now you can integrate on both sides to get y as a function of x. Okay. Okay, now you can integrate on both sides. Okay, now we'll integral y dy is equal to minus omega zero square integral zero to x sin x dx plus e. All right, you are just integrating on both sides. Okay. All right. So this gives y square divided by 2 is equal to omega 0 square cos x square sin x dx integral sin x dx or the minus cos x. Okay. So this gives you omega 0 square cos x and the limit you have to apply plus e. We will have limit supply chamber cos x minus 1 because cos 0 is 1 plus e. All right. In the number of the number y square by 2 plus omega 0 square 1 minus cos x is equal to e. Right. In the simple pendulum to connect here. You can just look at the simple pendulum here. But the simple pendulum is potential energy we calculate. Potential energy. Potential energy reference point choose potential energy is zero every day on the reference point is convenient to choose here. Problems here, pala problems live day potential energy at a zero point at the end. Chella problems in only day at the end. According to our convenience, because we are free to do this. All right. The potential energy as such is defined only up to a constant. So we can use this freedom to set the zero of the potential energy. But we have a case level potential energy is zero every day and set in the right. And angle, even the height turn, right? Pendulum, pendulum in the bob in the e point in the height turn and the potential energy theorem. So that is mgh. That is mgh. But okay, height and what is this h? Right? H no, this is the total length. 
provide the, the total length on L. That's the length of the string. Okay, that's the length of the string, right? Now, in this length, we can get the theta position like What is this length? But a metal length of this is simply L cos theta. This is L cos theta. The total length in the L cos theta subtract you will get this height, correct? So we can write our H as okay, L minus L cos theta. So our potential energy would be MGH is equal to MGL into 1 minus cos theta. Okay, L common at both that. Energy, total energy expression you can write as half my square, which is the kinetic energy, plus mg L minus L cos x. Okay, in L common at work, it's mg L 1 minus cos x, all right, 1 minus cos x. This is the kinetic energy. In your antiquation, it's very similar. They look very much the same. Right, the exact is this either at equity angle, you just divide it throughout by ml square, which is the moment of inertia of the. Simple pen, simple pen, then moment of inertia to throughout divide the angle. Equation to throughout divide the angle, you get this equation. All right, upon moment of inertia one night plus system at Ganaka come, or we can consider it as a scaling factor because in the exact moment of inertia, we are interested only on the qualitative behavior. Okay, so if you divide throughout by ml square, okay. ML square and divide the angle with MGL divided by ML square. All right, so this will go and you get uh, M and M will go, you'll get G by L. All right, you'll get G divided by L. All right, pivotal energy you can consider it as a scaled energy, all right, energy per moment of inertia, all right, or unit moment of inertia less than energy. It doesn't matter because we are worried only about the qualitative behavior. Don't under the moment of inertia the term is that. Okay. All right. In either way, the constant of integration at an either angle, if you ML square under 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 multiply and elevator, you'll get this equation. Okay. All right. So this is the connection. Right. If we have x equal to theta, y equal to x dot to at an elevator. Okay. Up in the mathematical pendulum, this is the energy equation for the mathematical pendulum. This is the energy equation for the physical simple pendulum. All right. Now we can solve for y. What we are interested in is to get y of x, y of x, y as a function of x. All right. But other than that, solve it. Either solve it or not. So we get y of x is equal to twice. All right. E minus omega zero square into one minus cos x. All right. So this is actually y square. Y get nengi. You have to take the square root, and then you will have a plus or minus. So kya dhanamalu vada chedi kine the. Okay, we get y square is equal to 2 e minus omega 0 square 1 minus cos x. Fine, all right. In the looking in a substitution of the omega 0 square on a square on the portrait at the angle, we'll write this as e star is equal to e divided by omega 0 square with a square under. Okay, I'm going to you see that y square is equal to 2 omega 0 square. Okay, and then e divided by omega 0 square. Then I'm e star. Right, we'll write this as e star minus 1 minus cos x. Okay, so you get y is equal to uh, omega 0 plus or minus omega 0. And the side of the square root at the angle, 2 will be inside the square root, all right? Uh, e star minus 1 plus cos x. Okay, then of course, in the rearrange is conveniently you can write this as plus or minus omega 0 square root of 2, okay, cos x divided by minus, okay, cos x minus minus over the angle, 1 minus e star. So this is the equation for y as a function of x. In India, the programming language, Python, I think mathematical built-in programming, uh, built-in functions are like the way plot here. Just plot y as a function of x. So I define this function and then plot y as a function of x for different values of e star. If the e star matter on a supply chain, extra condition of e star and different values in the plot here. Right? Mathematically, I the plot here. Right? I plotted it in Mathematica and I get an equation like this. Right? So I get a phase space trajectory like this. Okay. The trajectory in here, red, red corresponds to the value of e star is equal to 1. The green corresponds to e star equal to 2 and the blue lines corresponds to e star is equal to 3. All right. So what do we understand from here? Right? Red Phase space, uh, phase plane, le, closed trajectories. Are. So they correspond to oscillatory behavior. Oscillatory behavior. So it's oscillating. All right. Oscillating. As a simple point, let's say, we have a lot of energy. It will just oscillate back and forth. Okay. But real space, the oscillations are phase space, we have ellipses, le, circle, and the other thing. 
Now, blue this corresponds to another value of E star for a higher energy. So if E star is equal to 3, right? If E star is equal to 3, that is potential energy at the maximum the column E energy could learning. Simple pentlet and energy could learning. You see that it's an unbounded motion, right? It's an unbounded motion. Right. For example, the pendulum would rotate, right? If you give sufficient energy, it will just keep rotating. Your rotation corresponds in the phase space trajectory and the blue line Okay, this corresponds to rotations, rotation of the simple pendulum. In the day, like critical behavior and separatrix, which is represent This is the separatrix. Okay. We run to different behavior and under the behavior and uh, separate in the uh the separatrix and number all right. Uh, that's why, if we will get ellipses like this. All right. If we get ellipses like this. All right. This is how we graphically plot it. When I am graphically plot it, I will explain it in the next video. All right. Once I explain it, I will again upload the video, including this particular problem. Okay. Graphically, it gives you some sort of better understanding when you do it graphically from the potential energy. A curve potential energy curve in another protein but gives you a better idea of what this actually means okay so you have to look into that all right otherly separate tricks normally pointed currently okay this is the point where for example x is equal to zero and y is equal to zero right x is equal to zero and y is equal to zero that's the velocity is zero and position is zero all right so this actually corresponds to a particular energy level this corresponds to an upright pendulum all right or inverted pendulum Inverted pendulum, all right, it's in a state of unstable equilibrium. Unstable equilibrium. Okay. For unstable equilibrium, but it will remain there. It will remain there. All right. It's a trajectory in itself. Point the right? It's a trajectory point the right? It's a trajectory. Around the point the right? It's a trajectory. All right. In a perturbation. Okay, I'm noting out a energy fluctuation, a energy change, a fluctuation and down, it's a perturbation down, it will just fall. Okay, the inverted pendulum would just fall, all right? But I'm like, either direction and a flexible, either direction, it will either fall in the, in, in such a way that theta increases or x increases, x increases in the direction of folium, x decreases in the direction of folium. Okay, in it, but actually, arrows and we can include arrows here. So, arrows will go like that. Okay. We need an entire momentum positive at the plane. If we look at the upper plane, momentum is velocity. We have velocity and y positive one. Y positive one is moving in the plus x direction. All right. Physical system is under because velocity is given uh, or the momentum. The velocity is given by x dot. Okay. By x increase in the direction. We need an arrow. Okay. So if we moment is negative one, that is y um, momentum. But velocity in the momentum decrease in the direction, and the velocity decrease in the direction. Learn, right? So that's why we have, we'll have arrow like this here. Okay? We would have arrow something in here. Okay. Now, we'll we will have to say that the E point is a saddle point. We will have the classification of the saddle point. Okay. All right, and uh, what else did we say about these things? All right, about number of the flux is good currently, it will either fall in this direction or it will fall in this direction. Okay, well, actually, no can get trajectories with a meet in the land or vacuum by a vacuum on the blue. Actually, physics physical trajectories don't cross. All right, e point in itself is a trajectory, and these are the trajectories which asymptotically approach this particular uh, unstable configuration of this particular saddle point. Okay, so these are things that we need to understand. Right. Okay. So for a graphical plot, for a graphical way of plotting the same thing, please check the next video. So I'll just summarize what we saw here. E star, E star and value choose here, and energy to value choose here. E star is nothing but the energy scaled by this omega zero square. Okay. So E star has to be between zero and two for the pendulum to oscillate. Zero in two into a day learning. Then the pendulum is oscillating, and you get ellipses in the phase space. In this case, there are two turning points. All right, there are two turning points. The motion of the system is periodic, and its phase space trajectory is closed. A periodic motion is closed. Turn. Okay. When E star is greater than two, the pendulum has sufficient energy to rotate about the point of suspension. 
The closed curves indicate oscillations, while the open curves far from the x-axis show that the show the rotation of the pendulum. Right? For closed curves and oscillations and open curves and uh, rotation. Okay, there is a real space. It's, it's a bit curious. Okay, real space is a closed tidal trajectory and rotating pendulum. Okay, and corresponding at the phase space is the open trajectory. As a meme, uh, real space is open idle trajectories and oscillation, and corresponding at the phase space is the closed trajectories. Okay. In E star equal to 2 on a critical case, the corresponding curve passes through the saddle point. The separatrix corresponds to energy E2 equal to the maximum value of V. All right. Apo E2, that is the separatrix and energy, no, E2 is equal to V max. Potential energy is the maximum value in equal and E2, no, exactly equal. No. All right. That's the case where we say that uh, the system will be in, along the separatrix. Okay. In this case, the pendulum simply stands inverted in an unstable position. In an unstable position. Okay. The trajectories outside the separatrix correspond to the energy E being larger than the maximum in V and imply non-periodic motion. That is, if energy is less than V maximum, we have closed orbits in phase space okay, or oscillations. If energy is equal to V max, then we have the saddle point. Okay. This is the inverted pendulum. And if energy is greater than V max, then we have the open curve corresponding to rotating pendulum. Right? So you can uh, think about these things a little bit, or I try to draw the phase space diagrams. So, okay, programming language is a little bit of an equation of the plot. Right? You just get an idea of how these things are done. Okay. And uh, uh, we'll continue in the next class. Okay, okay. So nonlinear oscillations in the period. I'm going to calculate in the So I'll do that in the next video. All right. Thank you.